stage one entry burn shut down. That was a good entry burn from the first stage. Again, reusability is key to lowering the cost of space flight, which enables more investments in things like critical scientific research. Now the Falcon 9 first stage of supporting space mission just performed its entry burn for the second time after previously having supported the Crew-6 launch just last month. Now the Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level, whereas that MVAC engine you see on the second stage there is optimized for back which just means that it has a much bigger nozzle compared to the m engine on the Now coming up in about 20 seconds, we'll have the shutdown of our m engine on the second stage, followed quickly by the landing burn on our first stage. Stage one transonic. Stage two There was confirmation of second engine cutoff and a nominal orbital insertion. Stage one landing burn. There is the start of our stage one landing burn, and you can see that drone ship coming in quick. Stage one landing light deployed. What an awesome view of that first stage recovery. Everyone's very excited here in Hawthorne. And there you have it, that landing marked SpaceX's 188th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings of Falcon 9 and Heavy. But the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. Now after this coast phase, we will light that impact engine for a second time around the T plus 27 minute mark. So we'll see you here back here in about 17 minutes. Okay. So in just about 10 seconds, we will do a short 30 second relight in our second engine startup too.